Tony from CassetteComeback.com. Now, if you watch this video here, bing, or if you've watched this video here, bing, you'll know that I'm a big fan of South Korean made cassettes, in this case, from Saihan and SKC. But all the Saihans I've ever had have always been rebranded for other companies. And likewise, SKC, although they made a lot for other companies and I have some SKC cassettes, they also had a domestic brand called SMAT. And both of these SMAT tapes and genuine Saihan branded tapes have eluded me because they're very rare to find. Now, thanks to a viewer and friend, Michael Janser, who lives in Korea, South Korea that is, I've managed to get hold of some. So let's see what he sent me. We've got the Smat CD. Now, this is a Super Chrome. Now, I'm imagining if this is anything like the SKC CDs, these will be a slightly cobalt doped pure chrome with a great shell that records superb. So let's have a look at that. Yep, yeah. let's have a look at the back. We see we've got the classic SKC three hole hubs. I, I remember seeing something like that on Fuji's, but other than that, I can't really see what the shell is like. But there's the back, like I say, all written in Korean. And then we go to this, which is the Smat SK. Now, I don't know of an SK in the SKC line, but this is a normal position. It says general purpose. But this really looks exciting because not only does it have the classic SKC hubs, it's obviously from the same generation as this because the packaging is very similar. But this seems to have a white shell and I don't think there were enough cassettes released in white shells. I like white shells so this one's looking very, very tasty to me. And then we have this which is the Smat Rosette SE normal but looking at this this shell these hubs this looks like Saihan more than SKC even though it's it's branded smart interesting and then da, 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 the only actual Saihan branded cassette that I've ever had this is a Saihan mmm pure and we can't see what that is all about at the back, but again, all Korean made. So thank you, Michael, for sending these. So, now this video is gonna be in two parts. So I wanna do some comparisons just to show you, but uh, I've not really opened these up, so I can't really tell you what they are just yet. So let's open them up and let's have a look at the goodness inside. So let's start with this Saihan, the only Saihan cassette I have. It's sealed. I don't wanna open it, but uh, Michael did send them to do a video on, so I've got to do it. Besides, I'm sure I could record something nice on it afterwards. So let's have a look. There we go, that's the actual case. Mm. Let's have a look at the cassette itself. Yeah, you see, straight away, this shell, I have some Akai and some Fuji, in fact Fuji GRIX. We seem to have this shell, you know, with the stripes at the top and this, um, but I'll, uh, I'll get some cassettes out afterwards when we, when we pause so we can do some compare and contrasting. So that's that one. Now, let's look at this Smat Rosette because this Smat Rosette, from what I can see, looks surprisingly similar to this Saihan. Have a look. The case, the case is the same, yeah. Let's just have a look, even though it's a lovely pink colour, but look. The shells are the same. The hubs are the same. The leader's different. That's got a triple, well, quadruple stripe leader. That's got a single stripe leader, but they're both diagonal leaders. But the Saihan. And a Smart, hmm, bear in mind that Smart is supposed to be SKC. It could be towards, you know, the end of the game, late in the day that 
cross pollination between companies etc they use bits so this is exciting looking one let's have a look at this sk this looks a very sexy looking cassette because it's white and like i said there's not been enough pure white cassettes for my liking because they look really nice there we go now straight away if this was a dark gray with blue writing who would you say this cassette came from come on i can hear you yeah this looks like a fuji but it's not it's a smart and like i say fuji had the late cassettes made by skc so we've got this one here and finally the cd i'm reckoning this cd is going to be in that shell but in gray and it's going to look basically just like a fuji let's let's just see oh this one's a tight one right oh, hang on i'm trying to open it the wrong way ha 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 let's have a see yep yeah. there we go so yeah this looks like a fuji let's have a sniff is it a pure chrome you know it's, it's got a hint of the pure chrome but it's not it's not anything like a basf or the other or the earlier skc cds just let me just have a look at the tape mm, yeah it's dark yeah it does have a a slight aroma of crayons but i wouldn't say you know it was an over sinky pure chrome so that's them opened now let me get some comparison cassettes for you i'll be right back okay so these two i said these look like fujis yeah here we go I think it's a 1992 JP2 Fuji. I love this cassette. This is a really good cassette. Now, I'm just curious. The leader on this is different. This is a horizontal, uh, sorry, a vertical stripe leader. So the tape might actually be different. But let's have a quick look at the tape between this and this uh, CD46 Super Chrome. Like I say, the Super Chrome, the CDs which I have from earlier of these you smell a pure chrome but yeah if you look i don't know if you can tell but the you know, it's not showing it too well but the jvc tape is browner jvc tape is at the bottom here it's browner whereas the top to be fair the, the bottom looks more chromey and the top one looks more cobalt doped yeah the jvc the, sorry jvc the fuji doesn't smell at all like chrome the cd does a little bit but as we can see these certainly have come with the same case so yeah and then like i say we had i love that in white that is really nice i'm wondering i hope that's a super ferric i hope it's like an ax competitor if that's an ax competitor i've got a lovely album to put on this because i could do with the 74 but yes yeah, time goes on now i'm finding i could do with more 74 minute cassettes not particularly for cds it's just that i tape a lot of new music and more and more now we got albums coming out that are like 32 and 33 minutes long so it's too long to put it on a 60 but there's too much space to put it on a 90 so 74 is i could do with more but yeah as you can see all of these same shell uh i don't know about the tape the tape is probably different but different generations because you got to think this one comes from 1992 but this cd where's the wrapper on the back uh does it give you any sort of hint i mean all we do know is that it, it's got a web address on it so it's going to be at least three, four, five years newer than this JV, uh, JVC. I keep saying it, this Fuji. So it's a good shell. They were keeping it for a while, but yeah, so then three all together. And then we have these two. Like I say, this one is branded Smart, which is SKC, but this Saihan, apart from the variances in colour of the shell, they have 
a very similar appearance and again we're going to have to go to Fuji because if we look at this Fuji here apart from the hub retainer and a slight different tint it's the same shell it's the same hubs but again the yeah you see even this Fuji's got the diagonal lead like I said I wonder what these mean I mean you know I've, I've seen these on a few but I mean look this this one's got the uh, diagonal leader there this one's got diagonal leader this one's got a four stripe diagonal leader this on this this is a two stripe diagonal leader this CD doesn't have a leader on it uh, like I say, this one's just, just, well, it has a leader, but it doesn't have any stripes on the leader at all. Um, uh, and the Fuji, again, that doesn't have a leader like this. That's just got a single vertical on it, which I've just gone by. There we go. So, who knows? I mean, that's what I mean. Who knows at this point? We've, we've got different leaders, different shells, but same shells, different makes. They could all well be the same. They really could. In fact, let's just have a quick look at this Saihan. Mmm, I like the name. Is this any good? Mmm, pure. Let's have a see if, if this is any sort of like comparison in take colour. This is a, yeah, that's a very traditional brown ferric. Now, this one has got four stripes on the leader so uh, what could this be you see again this looks like a very traditional in fact they look almost identical tapes in them too so like I say one's a 60 one's a 90 but different colours these could well be the same but regardless what we're saying here is you know SKC smart Saihan you know, made for Fuji's etc. And is is the ones that they made for themselves necessarily any better, any worse? Did they give the best stuff to Fuji and all the other countless brands? Like I say, I've got um, an Akai with this shell, and and strange thing is, what I'm a bit disappointed with. Well, maybe not disappointed is that this doesn't have what I would class as a traditional Saihan uh, shell. Which, if you bear with me, I'll just go and get one and show you. This is all interesting stuff. So I've just been for a dig. Like I said, this Denon here, this Cedo 2, is what I call a traditional Saihan shell. You know, it's got the A up at the top. It's got the small window in the middle and the stripes at the top, which is, which is different to this kind of shell. But again, this one here, this has got four diagonal stripes on it. So I'm just wondering again if, let's have a look at the tape in this Denon, because I've often wondered is this Denon tape or is it not? Now that's looking very black, let's go to this Smart Super Chrome. Um, see, if we look at these two, without putting it on, that, on my Iowa to balance it, them two tapes look pretty much the same. So there's this Smart Super Chrome Got the same tape in as this Denon, which seems to be made by Saihan, with the hubs that look like Saihan in a Saihan shell, which also looks like this mat, with a different shell but the same hubs as this. So, you know what? I, I think Korean tapes at this point was basically bits as Smart, SKC, Saihan, whatevs. They all were using bits from each other and making tapes and yeah, I don't know what to, to make of all of them. I mean, look at this. SKCGX. Do you recognise that shell? You got it. It's the same shell, you know, with the lines at the top and the frosting all the way around. Well, actually, no, this one's got frosting here, whereas the other two don't. So is this the latest shell? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So it's a mishmash of everything. That's what we basically concluded here. Um, not very useful, but yeah, the cross-pollination of the Korean tape industry in the early 2000s. So um, let's stop all this gassing. Let's, uh, what shall we have a listen to? Let's have a listen to 
this Saihan yeah um, I'm curious about this one it looks good is it a super ferry let's have a do at that one and I, I guess we should do the the, the, the smart super chrome as well so we'll, we'll get these three loaded into the revox and let's have a listen to them sorry about that I've been going on a bit <laughs> So I'm going to use my Revox on this because it's so pretty and we can see the tape spinning round. And I'm going to stream the music from my Samsung Android tablet because yes, I've managed to ditch the Windows tablet and get my Samsung Android tablet working again. And you know what I did? To make it work with my external DAC, which suddenly stopped working after an update, <laughs> I rooted it and put a custom firmware on. So, sorry Mr. Samsung, you're gonna have to wait a bit longer to get another gold Rolex for your directors, because I ain't playing this game. I'm sure you'll figure out a way eventually to kill the tablet, even though there's physically nothing wrong with it, just because, you know, I've had it long enough now. It's, uh, it's, it's time for me to buy a new one. See this? 1986 this was made and it still works the, like it did the day it was made you know why not connected to the internet this will only die when something physical dies on it a chip on the board the motors grind out whatever this isn't going to be killed remotely through the internet because well the companies think you've had it long enough now it's time for you to buy a new one because that's the point modern technology with internet connection inbuilt obsolescence folks you know I've, I wonder what the kids the future are going to get reminiscing about oh I remember my iPhone 3 that you know that black slab yeah oh I miss that oh I can't play with that anymore we can't reminisce on it because they're all dead all remotely nobbled whereas we can still enjoy stuff like this because it wasn't made purely with profit in mind but anyhow off the soapbox i've got the saihan mmm pure in there it's all biased up so let's listen to a little track now called what's it called just bear with me it's got a good name i remember saying that's the name of a good track that's it skull fire yeah let's listen to a, a bit of skull fire on this let's see how it goes <laughs> Okay, right, to note there, um, just bear with me, let me just swap the tape over, but yeah, that sounded good to me, let's, uh, I want to try this one, let's try this out, I'm hoping this will be a super ferret with a premium shell like that, but let's just, uh, while it's biasing it up, let me just have a little chat, now, did you notice on that song, it sounded like there was wow and flutter, but even on the source, there was wow and flutter, and that's because, in a lot of modern music, much to my annoyance anyway. Wow and flutter is now used as an effect, making things seem slightly out of tune. I, there's one album, I forget the name, where the, it would have been a great album apart from they drenched the album in this fake wow and flutter effect. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great new music out there, but like I say, some of it is just, oh, they've used that effect on it, it sounds like an 80s tape, oh, it's brilliant, let's use it, and everyone copies it, and 
I don't think it's a great effect. So this song does have four wow and flutter on it. But forget about that. Listen to the bass, listen to the hi-hats now, and, and do the comparison that way. But it's not the deck, it's not the tapes. It's the song itself. It has a wow and flutter in it. It's only because I'm recording this now and can't bother trying to find another song and doing this all again. We're going to continue with Skullfire. Now, this one. Let's see if this is just a regular ferric or whether I can crank this up a bit. Let's see if I can crank this up to maybe plus six because that's what I'd normally run a super ferric with and see if it distorts. So uh, let me just cue up Skullfire again. If I can find it, where is it? There it is, you know. Oh, sorry, you haven't touched your tablet for 30 seconds. We must now shut all the applications down and lock the screen. Anyway, right, school fire again. beat the gut yeah peaking at plus six sounded good didn't hear any real distortion there yeah so this sk might be the smart version of the brilliant skc ax but uh beautiful looking i love this white shell uh the tape's really good a really good tight one in there i've got a, a couple of modern albums to go on this which are like 32 minutes a bit so this will fit nicely and now finally Let's go on to the CD46. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to start recording it at zero, which is where you would put your pure chrome. Let me just bias it up while I explain. So right, we wind this all the way back because you need to do that. Okay, good. Right. Let's just set the tape length. Hang on. Playtime 46. Yep. Don't know if that makes any difference on here, but I just do it anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to start this at zero because if it's a pure chrome that's where it needs to be and then I'm gonna crank it up a bit and see if it distorts because like I say this one doesn't reek like a pure chrome but there is something there it could be a cobalt dope chrome I'm not entirely sure but uh, let's let's see so I'm gonna take the uh, input down a bit first take it down to amounts about 22 let it do it at about 20, uh, zero, and then we'll crank it up a bit, see if it distorts. Okay, so let me just unlock the tablet again and find the tune again. There we go. Right, so let's listen to Skullfire for a third time. peaking slightly more than zero. Let's crank it up. Let's see if it can handle plus three.
but that one peaking at like plus three maybe plus four no audible distortion let me just have another sniff now it's been used a bit there's definitely the slightest hint of a waxy smell there but i'd say this is this is a cobalt doped chrome because uh, there is a slightest hint and like i say the skc cd is definitely a pure chrome um but no that performed really well as well um a lovely looking cassette so yeah all in all a nice test <laughs> So what did we conclude here, if anything? In fact, do we need to conclude anything? Look, it's simple. Korean tapes, out of all the ones I've tried that have made in Korea, have all been universally good. Some aren't spectacular, some are spectacular. But know that if you've got made in Korea written on the back of a tape, it's going to come from one of three sources. Mostly SKC and Saihan, Perhaps Gold Star, but there's a lot of uh, about Gold Star. There's some, you know, the three hole, the three square hole Gold Star hubs also have lookalikes made by other people, and I don't think Gold Star were in the tape game that long. I think the majority of the output of Korea was SKC and Saihan, and like these two show here, which is a Saihan and a Smart, is that. Essentially, at one point, I think they just sort of joined together and used up what they can and just churned out what they could as cheaply as possible as cassette was dying. But, um, yeah, whatever. As long as it says Made in Korea on the cassette, you're going to be sure it's going to be decent because I've not met a bad one. The, you know, it's all good. I mean, there's even the odd surprise. Like this one, I was very impressed with this, how it looks. And how it sounds but like i say if this has got skc ax quality tape in it which i think it does then that's not surprising because to me an ax is as good as an ar again this one this one's throwing me a bit because the skc cds which come earlier are pure chrome and they reek of it this one doesn't this could be this could well be a ferro cobalt this could be an equivalent of the skc qx and just a little hint I'm getting of chrome when I smell it. it could be throwing me off it could be just lingering there because in the factory down the production line maybe they are making them and something's propagated I don't know but this didn't perform like a pure chrome it performed like a ferrocobalt and very good and like I say I mean this Saihan just a regular tight one very good very competent so yeah again thank you to Michael Jansa for sending me these because like I say these are all very rare I, I you know in, in europe you hardly see the smart and like i say this is the only Sai hand branded cassette i actually have but i'm going to put some good music on these because they're all very good cassettes so thanks for watching don't forget yep the radio show on Sunday. Hey, and if you want to tweet me while I'm on it, you never know, I might give you a shout out. But uh, if you're looking for some new stuff to record onto your cassettes, I seek out the best brand new music, but for a more discerning palette. And I play it on the show with some golden oldies. So do tune in live or catch it later on Mitch Cloud. I'll post a link on YouTube after the show's recorded if you want to listen to it offline. But hey, look at this. This is impressive. That's it. When it comes to 90s music, this show is rated the 17th best in the world currently on Mixcloud. So thanks to everyone who's been listening and tuning into it. And thanks to everyone that's been listening to it on Mixcloud. So don't worry, Uncle Tony's got some more videos coming. I've got some really good ones because while I was making this video, I had to do an edit because a doorbell rang. But I got a nice delivery, a delivery of lovely colourful very type zeros so you never know there could be a bit of deck abuse coming up in the next video who knows so thanks again for watching please like and subscribe and until then happy taping bye bye